Hello guys, this video is kind of different from my usual format. Usually I make videos on ancient uh, archaic samples, but this is a modern, this is a modern sample, modern Andamanese human. I'm only doing this because it's demand, there is high demand for this sample, so let's get into it. It's a guy, as you can see the picture I chose for Andamanese. This is just, a sh just to show you what they look like, but the picture is a female. Uh, however, the sample is actually a guy. And uh, this is what he looked like. Minus Shako 2 predicts him to have dark brown eyes. Actually, surprisingly, uh, the same likelihood of Greek nose as snub nose, which is kind of interesting. And uh, black hair, definitely black hair. Wysek gave him a very funny prediction. Wysek made him have uh, white skin hair, which is probably because he wasn't genotyped for the main SLC24A5 mutation that Wysek probably looks for to determine skin color, right? With Snipper Freak, he's predicted to have black skin, though, and... Uh, when it comes to blue eye haplotypes, he did not have, he did not even have BH1. So obviously no BH1, that means no BH2, no BH3, no BH4, none of the other blue eye haplotypes that come later. He did not even have BH1. So just straight up an ancestral genotype in the Oka2 region. And here is something that's very surprising about this sample. He actually had the European no-go learner mutation. Now, I was under the impression that this mutation is just limited to Europeans. And if, in case you don't know what it is, it's basically a mutation that lowers the amount of D2 dopamine receptors you have in your brain, decreases the risk of schizophrenia, increases the likelihood of you being a no-go learner. And he had A2A2 genotype in TAC1, which is kind of, it's also the same gene as the previous variation. It's also DRD2, but but uh, this variation has more to do with ADHD, tardive dyskinesia, Parkinson's. Uh, and he has the typical, stereotypically human A2A2 genotype here. Monkeys, gorillas, apes, all kinds of, uh, even Neanderthals tend to score A1A1 here instead of A2A2. And the surprises don't end because he also had the European warrior, warrior genotype in Combs Valmet variation, which means Met Met. Now, this is a typically European stereotypically European genotype and I was under the impression that nobody outside of Europe had this genotype uh, the implications of being a warrior with the IE is that you have slower reuptake of dopamine which means more dopamine builds up in your system which means you have better attention motivation however problems with stress resiliency Despite being overwhelmingly East Eurasian in ancestry, this individual actually did not have the East Asian EDAR gene implicated in East Asian facial traits. Uh, he also had sort of had the sociopath gene. I don't know how to interpret this. This is not the main variation that I look for. And he was not, uh, he did not have the European lactose persistence mutation, which is no surprise here uh, because it is not a European, right? And uh, he actually, there is a surprise because he actually did have the European mutation that protects against myopia. Now, moving on to polygenic traits, he had a pretty high risk score for Crohn's disease. Um, he also had a pretty high risk score for coronary heart disease. Uh, he also had a very high risk score for Parkinson's disease. Um, he had a pretty high risk score for schizophrenia. Uh, he had a very high risk score for bipolar disorder. Uh, he had a pretty average risk score for asthma. Uh, he had a pretty average risk score for type 1 diabetes, finally something average. And he had a pretty average risk, risk score for type 2 diabetes, also average. Now, uh, here's what he scores with Eurogenes K13. And you have to really keep in mind that despite this person probably looking very black in actuality. If you looked at him, you would probably think it's some kind of an African. He's actually not an African and genetically he's a completely Eurasian person. So he would score 47% South Asian, the rest East Asian and all kinds of like, there's Oceanian here too, right? So he's scoring all kinds of Eurasian components, but he looks black, but he isn't, right? Uh, he's not close to any populations in Sub-Saharan Africa. He's not scoring any Sub-Saharan African or at least not any substantial amount of Sub-Saharan African with these calculators. I have heard people say online that these Andamanese islanders are very heavily mixed with Denisovans and I do sort of see this here. I see the 1.5% archaic African that's a very uniquely uh, Neanderthal slash Denisovan component. And um, with the oracle here, he's closest to Onge and Haria are I think um, a group in Australia. Ho are definitely in Australia. Yo, I I'm sure that Ho is in Australia. And with the oracle here, He's getting modeled as a mixture of Ongia plus some kind of Australian groups. So there is a little bit of a shift relative to the Ongia references towards Australian references. This is what he scores with MDLPK16. And I just find it fascinating that despite, uh, despite their very extremely black phenotype, they actually score mostly Indian, Australian, Southeast Asian, all these kinds of you know, Eurasian groups, right? But they look, they look nothing like any of these groups, right? Um, with the Oracle here, he's closest to, once again, to Ongia, followed by Great Andamanese, followed by Bonda. I don't know what Bonda is. You can tell me in the comments. And he's getting modeled, actually, as a mixture of Ongia plus Borneo is Southeast Asia. I know that. 
I know that Borneo stuff, and I even I could have um, not even known that. I could I could just figure that out by looking at the other uh, references for the secondary populations here. And uh, this is what he scores with Harappa World. I have actually heard people say that Andamanese are the closest we have to actual like ancestral South Indian AASI, but I'm not sure how true that is because they do have a huge amount of uh, additional Southeast Asian, some kind of East Eurasian admixture relative to the AASI. So AASI would be a little bit more Western than them. Uh, with the Oracle here, I'm just getting off, off off track, completely off track, talking about unrelated stuff. But with the Oracle here, he's getting modeled as a mixture of uh, Onge plus some kind of Southeast Asian groups. Finally, this is what he scores with Ancient Eurasia K6. Here he's scoring mostly Ancestral South Eurasian. I'm starting to wonder what would actual AASI score here. Would they score Ancestral South Eurasian plus Natufian or plus Western European Hunter Gatherer? I'm not sure what they would score here. With the Oracle, he's closest to Onge, and he can be modeled as a mixture of Onge plus Clovis or Andamanese plus Eskimo. Basically, uh, the Oracle here is saying that he's got a lot of Northeast Asian admixture. Finally, this is what he scores with Gidrosia K3. Uh, I think he's scoring some West Eurasian because of the West Eurasian admixture in ASI, because I do believe ASI had a Western Western Eurasian component to them. Uh, and this is his G25. Now, there was no G25 for this sample on Explore Your DNA, so I had to simulate it using the raw file. You know, there is a there is a tool online where you can simulate G25 using the raw file, not any GT, not any GT match calculators, but straight up the raw file. And with the simulation, he's closest out of ancient groups to uh, Great Andamanese 100 years before Common Common Era. I think that's what the BP BP here means. And um, out of modern groups, it's closest to Ongia and Jarava, which Jarava are also Andamanese people. And he's getting modeled as a mixture of like when you try to model him as a mixture of various populations. Uh, Jarava plus Akta. Akta has got to be Australian. I think Akta is Australian, actually. Or is it Southeast Asian? I don't know. It's one of those two. And Velalar is uh, South Indian. So pretty typical result for an Andamanese person. So uh, did you like the video? Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy what I did here. And um, also you can download the sample in 23andMe format from Link, which is going to be in the description, as well as G the G25 coordinates for the sample. That's also going to be in the description.